don't know how to read this. Is it Ducci? <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. I'm Pauline and this is Mac and Cheese TV and today's video is going to be one of our um, unboxing slash unbagging videos. Chasa already um, unboxed June's BoxyCharm. Click on that or watch that if you haven't already. But um, in today's video, I'm going to be unbagging Ipsy's June bag. So a little bit about Ipsy since this is our first um, Ipsy unbagging video in this channel. Just like BoxyCharm, it's a monthly makeup subscription. But this one is for $10 and you get five sample sizes and a makeup bag on top of it. I subscribed to Ipsy for about five months before, but then after a while, like the products were just like too small and I don't know. It's not that I didn't like the products, it's just that they were too small, so I switched to BoxyCharm. And then BoxyCharm got a little too overwhelming where I couldn't keep up and use up all the products that were being sent to me. So I just um, resubscribed back to Ipsy and canceled my BoxyCharm for, for the meantime. So yeah, this is the first um, bag I got after a while. And let's see what's in. First up, this is the first product slash products are these um, two face masks. One is a nat natural tox apple mask sheet and the other one is a natural acai berry mask sheet. I'm not gonna try this on right now, but I say it's pretty hard not to like face masks or getting face masks in um, your box or bag. Cause I don't know, when I was subscribed to Ipsy a while back, um, I really liked how I never ran out of um, skincare products cause it's like each month I'm getting either a cleanser, a mask, toner, like I'm just getting now. Because um, unlike BoxyCharm, you can customize the kind of products you want to receive each month for Ipsy. And finally, this is the bag for this month. Um, I like how they did this because of Pride Month. So here, let me just read a little bit about what's on the card. So it says flying colors, which is what their theme is for this month. And at Ipsy, Pride Month is about so much more than sexuality. It's about unique beauty, self-expression, and inspiring everyone to be completely themselves without fear of judgment. And a lot more. So I really like how they did that. I just wish the bag was a bit more colorful than just different shades of red. So the first product is the Pixi Skin Treats Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. I used this um, last night. Um, I really, really like this product. So it says it exfoliates and brightens revealing healthy and glowing skin for all skin types and no lie i i really thought my skin was like glowing after using this and unlike other toners i like how this one doesn't sting my skin or like you know have that burn sensation after you put it on so i think that yeah this is good for um sensitive skin but okay so right after that i really because i really liked it i looked it up because i wanted to buy the full size right because Look how tiny this is. This was $29, okay? And if you buy the full size, which is about, I don't know, this big, it's $29. And I don't know if I want to spend $30 on a toner. So that's kind of a bummer, but this product is really good. Next, we get a Luxie Small Shader Brush in $245. Um, I didn't use this today because I kind of went for just um, a winged liner look. But it's not my first time using um, Luxie brushes. I've gotten Luxie brushes before from both my Ipsy bags and BoxyCharm, and I really like them. And they're cute and pink too. Next is a Jante Blue Ultra Lasting Formula Black Liquid Liner. I love getting liquid liners in um, Ipsy bags because it's like I never have to buy liquid eyeliners because every time I run out and then I get another one in two months or... Yeah, I just like getting them in my box or bag. But this one, it kind of swatched a little um, streaky. Like it's not as black as I want it to be and the, the applicator isn't as thin as I would like it. But it's not bad. I used it today and yeah, it's decent. It's not my favorite, but it's good. And the last one in my bag is, I, I don't know how to read this. Is it Ducci? I don't know. A luscious lip lip stain in Holiday Getaway. And I know this is a really pretty color, but I don't think it looks good on me. 
and this is what it looks like swatched it at first it swatches like really wet which like concerned me but after a while it, it dries and it doesn't move it reminds me of ColourPop's ultra blotted lip but it's more opaque so I think I like this formula better but yeah this color is not my favorite though but it's pretty for the summer that's the end of this video. Like I said, if you haven't watched Chessa's June unboxing, make sure you click on that. And we'll see you guys next time.